Oh yeah. Looks like you're ready for some TLC. Hey guys, this is Brent with 247parts.com. And before we get started here, if this video happens to help you out, we just ask you to hit that subscribe button because that helps me out as well. And if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and also go check out our other channel, Western Equipment, for videos that are more product-based. And then these videos will be our how-to videos. So today I'm gonna be putting a home maintenance kit onto this 2006 John Deere X320. Now, if you've been seeing these channels or you've ever seen any of our Western equipment videos, you've seen plenty of home maintenance kit installs, but I'm gonna go over that exact same process today. Just know that that is the same process is gonna be on most of these mowers. The main thing I wanna be pointing out in this video today is what it looks like, what some of the things look like, the filters, the spark plugs, the oil, what they look like whenever we've gone a while without doing a service on a mower. As you can see, this one here is very dirty. So I'm gonna blow this thing off and then we'll get started. First thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get the oil draining. That way we can be working on other things while this oil is draining out. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the cap off here. That way it is ready to breathe whenever I open that up. We're gonna get our drain pan placed into position here. Try to find a good spot where it's not gonna tip over just like that. And then we have this drain plug here that is just easily twist offable by hand or it should be. Ooh, and I don't know if you can see that guys, but you can see just how dark that engine oil is. So it was definitely time for a change there. Now, this is something that you have, if you've watched any of our other home maintenance kit videos, you have not seen this so much, being as that we usually change a fairly new mower but this is one that was definitely due for a change. Now, while that oil drains, we'll go ahead and break open this home maintenance kit here, show you just exactly what's inside. So we've got our new oil filter, our two fresh quarts of oil, and we're gonna have our air filter, our outer air filter, two new spark plugs, and a fresh fuel filter. So while that oil is draining, we'll go ahead and start with replacing the air filter. Right up here on top, we just have these two twist bolts that we're gonna take loose. Simply remove that housing. And the air filter doesn't look too terrible. From here, it looks like it might have been just recently blown out. We're gonna go ahead and change it. So not too bad. Now, one thing you can tell that this is an older air filter because it's starting to rip right here on our pre-filter. And that thing is very, very fragile. But overall, not too bad, pretty clean. Looks like it definitely has been blown out. We'll go ahead and pop that new one on. It's just a little easier if you go ahead and pop on the foam before going on with the filter here. So just work that down and on real easy. All right, and then after that, let's go back down on the top. Now on this style of filter, we wanna make sure and get these down snug because these are going to be the studs that our hand bolts on top are going to grab. So you wanna get those pretty well snug there and that helps that filter make a good seal against the air inlet. Then we can go back on here with our filter housing. So next we're gonna go on here and change our oil filter. Now that all of the engine oil has basically come to just a very, very slow drip, we're gonna go here and try to change this filter. Now, a lot of times you can get these off by hand. We're gonna try that first. And if not, we'll try the trusty strap wrench here. So I'm gonna grab a hold of this. Once again, guys, this is just a testament here to just how dirty that oil is. We'll go ahead and set this here. Let that continue to drip just a little bit. And then next, We'll go ahead and grab a rag here. We're just gonna clean off right here around the ceiling surface of that oil filter. Just wanna make sure that's nice and clean before you go back on with your new filter. That way you make sure that you're making good seal with the side of the engine with that new filter. All right, so next we'll go ahead and put on our drain plug here. Go ahead and put that back in place. We'll go ahead and grab our new filter and break open one of our new quarts of oil here. Make sure to get a clean finger here, dip down in that oil just a little bit, and then put a fresh coat here, just a nice sealing coat around this gasket on your new filter. And we'll start that back on to the engine. Now, as you saw there, I was able to take it off by hand. So a good rule of thumb here is just to get it back on hand tight. We don't wanna crank down on these filters to make them completely stuck. 
on that engine, but you do want them to have a good tight seal as they are going to have pressure going to them. All right, so just like that. Now we can pull out the dipstick here, get it good and wiped off. Same thing, we're gonna clean just around the seal here of the dipstick, set that to the side, get our funnel in there and start to go in with our fresh oil. And you can see just how clean that fresh oil is compared to the oil that we had coming out of there. All right, there's one quart and then for our second quart. All right, and let that sit for just a minute. Go ahead and pull that funnel out. You can go back in here with our dipstick, and that's it. Next is gonna be changing our spark plugs. So right here, we're just going to pull that cap off. Now, what I've got here is a 3 8 ratchet with a 13 16 spark plug socket. Now, this is just an extra long socket with some rubber on the inside of it there to protect that spark plug whenever we're taking that off. We're simply going to run that inside here and then break that loose just like that then we can run this out by hand and likely just like we've seen on everything else guys these spark plugs definitely need to be changed you can see just how burnt the ends are there all the way up to the electrode all the way around the neck there so let's compare that to one of our new ones and you can see of course just how clean a new one is compared to this old one definitely time to give these a change this may be something that has gone the longest on this mower without a change. So we're gonna go back in here, run this in by hand, and we're gonna run that up till we just about feel it hit the side of the engine. We're gonna go back on here with our spark plug socket. Now we are definitely tight making contact and we're just gonna make another quarter of a turn and then go back on with our spark plug cap and then make sure and do the same thing on the other side. And last but not least is always the most fun here, which is going to be our fuel filter. Now, once again, not too bad looking here on the fuel filter. This might've also recently been replaced. A lot of times this style of fuel filter is one that we see on new machines. Uh, they're not generally this style in the kit. I mean, this has definitely been worked on just recently. I can tell because the clips are just a little bit cantankerous. They're probably just as old here as the mower. But what we're doing is working these clips up and away from the filter and then on the back side here which will be a little more challenging getting it work away from the filter as well take the filter off here at the top and then pulling off this one down here at the bottom all right and a lot of times the easiest way to do that on the brittle old fuel hose is just to simply twist now these are not threaded but it does help if you twist that rather than just try to pull it off, makes that a whole lot easier. And same thing when you're going back in with that new one. Now, the one thing that we need to keep in mind here whenever we're going on with our new filter is the direction of flow. So there will be an arrow here on the filter right down here towards the bottom. I know that's gonna be hard to see in the video, but we've got an arrow that's going from the tank to the engine. So we wanna make sure that when we're going on with the new filter that we are following that arrow, making sure that we're getting this put back on the correct way. All right, so we're gonna get this one put in place and then try to adjust that clip down there on the bottom portion. All right, and just like that, you are done with the home maintenance kit install. So the final thing we wanna do here, guys, is go ahead and hop on that mower, turn it on, let it run, go ahead and check for any leaks that we might have around either that fuel filter or, the, or that oil system and make sure we address those before we go out and try to use this mower. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. Like I said, if you did like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps me out as well. I hope maybe I gave you some tips on what to look for if you're looking into a used mower like this and things to look for whenever you're doing this home maintenance kit install. And also guys, if you have any other questions or comments, make sure to leave those down in the comments section below so I can be sure to get back with you. And if you're looking for a home maintenance kit for your John Deere mower or any other type of parts, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. I'll make sure to leave that link in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.